Hey people YouTube and beyond, and if you're watching this, you want to tune in to see how to finish making our Barbie bracelets. And apparently necklace, but the necklace is pissing me off. <laughs> uh, glue in my necklace that I made out of Barbie parts. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just going to use glue to shape this. Fuck it at this point. This shit dries amazing. <laughs> There. It's like good for all purposes, my atho. Okay. Now break it, break it, break it. There. I'll show you how to make that in a different video. Sorry, I got just got distracted. Um So yeah, while I was gone, I did a little bit more caulking. I just Tee funny word. Um, I did a little bit more caulking. I just put more glue inside her head. As you can see, that's the dime. And yeah. Uh, next you're gonna need... You're still gonna need your glue. But now you're gonna need your hair elastics. It helps to have the gluey part there so it doesn't look visible. The... Where your hair elastics are attached. I don't know if you're using metal or whatever. So take it... Take your hair elastics and do to do. Where's that other chunk? I'm gonna take a metal rod, again optional. That's why I didn't include it in the directions. Metal rod, cut. It's a little piece of wire. And I'm going to push it through the hair elastics to make it stay a little bit better. I feel like this is one of the weirdest things I've ever made. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to use this candle. No, I'm not. I'm going to use a thing of toothpicks to hold my things in place. One, so you, I can do it, and two, so you can see it. So my piece of metal is through. And now I'm going to start attaching little Miss Barbie to her frame. Make sure the elastics aren't stretched out while you do this. And after this, you won't be able to edit her face. So make sure there's no chips, no dents. She's exactly the way you want her. Take a Q-tip. Take a giant glob. And right. And then connect the hair elastics. And then just massage it in. And you'll get a giant glob. There. Kind of looks like a heart. <laughs> now I'm going to use my other glue because it's stronger. I'm going to put a little bit on top. Just pat it in. Because this is the part that's important. This is the part you really need to work. I'm going to rough it a little bit so there's more texture to hold on to. Now I'm going to put a little bit on the back of the dime. Or on the back of her face if you didn't use a dime. A little bit more. I'm going to use my cheaper glue as filler. Now I'm going to use my other good glue, squirt it on top. And make sure all the dime creases are fixed. So it's like laced around. And don't get any on her face. And just press it on. And make sure it's okay if it oozes out the bottom. I like everything to be even, so that's going to be big with me. Uh, so yeah. Next step, if you look underneath, I don't know if you can see, but you can see the dime in the glue and everything. I'm just going to take a lot more glue. 
and cover it and just make it look a little bit more even and it will also help it stick so yeah she's basically done I really like how she came out now I'm going to slide her off the toothpick so she can dry and she's done and you'll see me wear her in an outfit video I bet but the one thing I'm gonna do before I let you go on the inside her headband her I don't know if you can see but the elastics aren't attached so I'm gonna take just a little bit more glue and attach them on the inside because again I don't want this to slip a hot glue gun I was thinking about using it but then I figured it would melt Barbie's hair Barbie's head um oh yeah leave in the comments if you know any cool projects I can do with her hair I was thinking about making hair extensions with it but I think that'd be weird <laughs> I mean weirder than this <laughs> so yeah um I'm going to take a safety pin or hair pin and just clamp it so that it doesn't move. Use my fingers and just pat them all down in place like that. And yeah, that's how you make a Barbie doll head bracelet. Hope you enjoyed. Later.